Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here, say it with me, just in time. That's right, because it's Friday and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. Hey, before we get into this, click the howdy button down there. Tell me what you like about Friday's Finds. Let's get into it. Uh, we're gonna kick it off with, I, th I think this is something that every RVer needs to have. And even if you're not an RVer, you might wanna have some of this around. If you have an RV, you need to have some of this on hand. This is a hands down, something you really want just in case. This is sent to us by Circle Cord, Circle Cord store on Amazon. This is RV roof sealant tape. The reason I think this is a must have in your RV, let's go up top. Unless you've got a fiberglass roof on your RV, Odds are pretty good you have an EPDM membrane roof, which basically, it's just a piece of rubber, a very thin sheet of vinyl between you and the elements. And you'll notice I've got a wrinkle right here. Well, that makes it easy for a tree branch to dig into that. That's bad. That means it's a leak. So if you're running down a highway and you somehow get a tear in your roof, the best, fastest solution to protect your investment is the circle cord six inch RV roof sealant tape. And it's not just for RVs, but it, you really want to have it if you have an RV. Just a protection. Let's go back down. It's kind of noisy with the air conditioner, but it's 95 degrees, so I gotta have that on. The circle cord RV roof sealant tape, it's not only for RV roofs. It, it, it'll actually keep water out of anything. You seen that commercial where the dude uh, puts a screen door, window screen in the floor of a boat. Yeah, that stuff. That's pretty much the same stuff as we have right here. Six inches wide, 50 feet long. I have actually seen people use this tape to secure solar panels to the roof of their RV. Now, I don't recommend that. I think you should have some screws in there. But it's a rubber mastic tape. And I've learned the hard way, don't take that wax off. <laughs> Keep that wax on there because when this gets hot, the sticky will ooze out and get all over everything. Pretend for a moment, if you will, that my drip pan had a hole in it. It's, it's rusted out. It hasn't rusted out yet. But when it does, if and when it does, this tape will fix it so you can see it's it's two-sided you've got a piece that you peel off and then you of course, if you're doing this on any other surface it's a good idea to get it really clean and now you have a watertight seal this stuff is awesome. If you're an RVer, you should have a roll of this with you at all times. Even if you're not an RVer, if you're a homeowner, you should have a roll of that with you. You never know when you need to fix, when you need to make something waterproof. All right, let's move on to our next product. We have a new channel sponsor. This is actually not, a, not an Amazon product. One of my patrons and good friend and YouTube follower, Mr. James Steffi is, is, is working with a really cool company and they are selling, this is working with Frontier Hybrids. They're out of Abernathy, Texas. 
Frontier Hybrids out of Abernathy, Texas. They have sent us four pounds of Texas blue bonnets. Ha! Blue bonnets are my favorite all time flower, in case you didn't know that. It's the state flower of Texas. They're a really neat flower. They're a legume. They're in the pea family. Hold on, gotta walk around the RV. So I have, now that's, that's gonna be the barn. And that hill, that's gonna be my blue bonnets. And of course, four, that's about four pounds will pretty well cover that real well. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take and divide it into two parts because I wanna put some blue bonnets here. That way, when I'm coming and going, I can see them. Blue bonnets are really neat in that uh, we've, we've just passed blue bonnet season. So uh, early May, they're done. But right now there are still seed pods on the flowers that are, that are drying out. And as they dry out, they pop open and they flick those seeds out. So I plan on inoculating this area with some seeds and they'll migrate downhill and eventually this whole ditch will be blue bonnets. How cool is that? To successfully grow blue bonnets, the TxDOT, Texas Department of Transportation, they actually put seeds out every year on the roadsides. So all those blue bonnets, most of those blue bonnets, or many of the blue bonnets that you see on the roadside in Texas were put out by TxDOT. And they recommend putting out your seeds at the end of August. Let's open this bag. I think that, sure, they know what they're talking about, but Mother Nature doesn't do it that way. Mother Nature puts her seeds out in the spring. Now, when you buy blue bonnet seeds, depending on where you buy them, They'll recommend, hold on. So your blue bonnet seeds, they look like little rocks. And they're actually really hard. The shells on these are super dense, uh, which makes it, it helps it survive. So a lot of your seed providers will recommend scarifying your seeds, meaning you get a piece of sandpaper and you sand your seeds. Four pounds. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not happening. The way I'm gonna do it is the way Mother Nature does it. Just like that. Got another big rainstorm coming. So I don't want to put them out just yet. So this actually is going to be a three stage product video. I'll be talking about them more on the RV Homestead Texas than I will here. But I'm going to broadcast these out with my little, little handheld broadcaster. And I'm doing it now because they, the UV rays from the sun help break down that hard shell rather than trying to sand each one of those. I'm gonna put it out and let the July and August sun work on that shell. They will sprout in October, mid-October they'll start sprouting and they will grow until the spring. And they actually do better if there's a freeze during the winter. So this, this video is gonna end up being a, a three part Seg three segments. Uh, we've, we've been introduced to the Frontier Seed Company. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about them. After we go look at something else, we'll talk about Frontier Seeds and we'll go from there. In case you don't know, we have a major project in work. Uh, and this is part of it. This is our RV parking pad. I'm building a, a big RV pad because I like to spread out. Big issue I'm having, there's a couple of issues I have going on, but one of those is I want it, I don't want it 
I want it relatively level, especially side to side, because that's the harder that's the harder part of getting the coach level is the side to side. Front to back, that's not too big a deal. And if you have a, a travel trailer, front to back is real easy. But side to side is it can be a bit of a challenge. So I want this level to be pretty good. I don't, I don't want to have to pull out blocks, block out my wheels. So I've been grading between downpours. So every couple of days we're getting huge downpour and the clay gets gooey. I have to wait for that to dry and it'll dry and I'll start working it and then it'll get wet. <laughs> Meanwhile, when I started this project, I was using a little torpedo level, string level. I think I'm pretty close. But I'm not at that stage where I really need some precision. I went shopping. I'll show you what I, uh, what I came up with. This is the fire core laser level. Now, I haven't even pulled this out of the box yet. Not a bad price. I don't typically, I don't mention price, but this, this was a, a heck of a value because it includes, and this is the problem that I was running into, is I, I have a, a couple of small laser levels, but you can't see them when you're outside. The fire core includes the receiver, so I can actually find my laser, my laser in bright sunlight so i can do, use this tool during the day i don't have to wait for dark to come along so we got a clamp kind of mount that would be for your receiver tool so you can actually put that on a, on a measuring stick comes with batteries for both the receiver and the laser. So let me get this configured and we'll see how well it works. There's actually two different lasers. Has to be in pulse mode. So there's actually, the laser has three modes. Horizontal, vertical, and pulse. To get it to go into pulse, you press and hold. All right, so now I need to go do some measuring. So kind of jury-rigged my own little holder here. So that's our target line right there. I like it. And as I as I thought, I'm really low right there, but I'm still running almost level here, sloping sloping to there. So I got to keep pulling that way. All right, let's go open another box. Frontier Hybrids, Abernathy, Texas. 
They're actually a family owned business. We got a handful of employees. We work been working with farmers up in the Texas Panhandle and the Western Plains and West Texas, parts of Oklahoma. They've been doing that since like the early 80s. They have a number of their own strains. They, they don't work with cotton. I'm uh, not sure why that is. In case you're wondering what I'm doing. I'm putting the blue bonnet seeds in the hand spreader. Four pounds is exactly what you need to fill a single hand spreader. So let's go spread some seed. If you're interested, if you're looking to do this kind of project, Frontier Seeds can help you get the seeds that you need. You can call my buddy James and they'll help you figure it out. Time to inoculate the hill. We have a long box to open. This comes to us from Lupar. They're on Amazon. They reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in working with this. And I'm like, oh, definitely. We're, we're, com we're coming up on the flag holidays. So this is a an RVer flagpole is not necessarily for RVers, but uh, it is perfect for RVers. And it even includes a flag. We have a big tube. We have a topper. A pretty gold ball. And we have the pole. So let me unpackage this. Let me read the instructions and we'll be back. cool they provide you with a ground socket so you put that in the ground and you you build a cement pad around it that may be an option later on what i'm i really like the tire mount they also sell receiver mounts for that same size flagpole so you can mount it on the receiver occasionally i see things happening at the uh, on on the digital screen about NASCAR and you see all the people in the infields with all the flags on their RVs well they're using these kind of mounts I really like the height so if you compare it to my uh, directional cellular antenna that pole doesn't go up too very high uh, but that's fine for, for the most part. But if I needed to get some additional elevation with that antenna, it's a little bit higher than that one. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty dang cool. I wish the wind was blowing to get that flag open a little more. We're, we're coming up on the flag holiday. What better way to put out a flag without a big expenditure? Oop. It's an all-American picture. Dependican is an American company. <laughs> I, c 
could help pass that up. All of these products, with one exception, can be found on Amazon, and that one exception is the the beautiful blue bonnet seeds from Frontier Hybrids. As normal, there will be a link in the card above and in the description below. You gotta find the little more button down there to click the more button. Uh, and that'll open up the, the description, video description, and there will be a link down there. That link, those links, will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV Amazon page, the Dude RV Gear Recommendation Amazon page. Your business is most appreciated. I know that the vendors will appreciate you paying a visit and checking out their products. If you're interested in learning more about seeds from Frontier Hybrids, post a comment at requesting that information and we will make sure that we get that to you. I do appreciate you stopping by. Remember to click the howdy button down there. Thank you so much for your time. I'm, I'm truly honored that you spent this much time with me. If you've not already, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider clicking on the subscribe button. That really helps a small channel grow. For those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. That's why I get to do what I do. And for my patrons, we are so grateful for your generosity. You guys rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?